I just got a Logitech webcam, right? It's not anything special. And they're like, nah, bro, you probably use like a professional movie setup to like film your shit. Yeah, you need good lighting for this. I can show you, right? Like, this is why I take like 20 minutes or 30 minutes before I start every stream. That's because like, I have to set up my lighting. So let me show you guys what my webcam will look like without lighting. So I'm gonna turn off my lighting and let, let me show you what, what I mean by that. So I got two lighting setups and this is how my webcam looks like without the lighting. You see how bland it is, right? It It's almost like I bleed into the game and this is not it. If I remove all the filters that I set up for my webcam, this is how my webcam looks like out of the box, right? This is my default like webcam look. It took me a really long time. I think it took me like a year to play around with the settings to kind of like look on YouTube videos to really understand how to make my shit look better, man. So when I apply back all the filters, like the colors, like more balance. And this is in conjunction with the lighting, right? Look at that. All of a sudden I turn on both lightings. There's one over there, there's one over there. And you guys can kind of see it in this like photo over here. You see that lighting over there? This is how my setup looks like when I'm facing the monitor, right? I got another lighting down below. Also, you guys may not realize this, but there is a very clear reason why I wear white on every stream. And that's because like the webcam is able to color balance way better if I wore white. In fact, the whiteness of my headphones play a part in balancing the color. So check this out, right? If you look at my webcam right now, try to memorize this color palette. And when I put in my headphones into the scene, the color gets darker. So there was like a lot of things that I factored to make my webcam really look really good. And people have been asking me like, hey, where do I buy your webcam? Where do I buy your camera? And I'm like, I just got a Logitech webcam, right? It's not anything special. And they're like, nah, bro, you probably use like a professional movie setup to like film your shit. But I don't, right? All I did was like put in more effort. Yo, oh, also the other thing with lighting is you gotta kind of play around with it, right? Like whatever lighting you like set up for your stream, it's not gonna work out right out of the bat. You gotta like place it in different locations in your room and you gotta see like what lighting makes yourself pop and how you want it to pop. You know what I mean? Do you guys see this light like on the side of my face that is kind of blue? You see that light, right? If I turn that off, the effect is lessened, right? If I turn this off, you don't see it anymore. And you know, for most people, it doesn't really make a difference like hey i can live with that like if i have like one less light bulb shining in my face it's cool like i don't need to deal with that but i'm all about quality right and i'm always trying to push myself to be a better streamer so try to look at this there's no light around here and i'm gonna turn it on see that there's that lighting and this is like what i mean by staying competitive on twitch like when people like look at the thumbnails of like all the people streaming like yakuza kiwami right i guarantee fucking t that my thumbnail will stand out more because of my whole setup. If you see this as a thumbnail, the bottom left corner of the screen will have like a big timestamp. And a lot of people don't realize this, but when they put their webcam on the other side around that corner, their face is being blocked by a timestamp. I noticed that, right? So that's why I decided to make a conscious effort to put like my webcam at this location. I'm always trying to improve and I'm always trying to find like little bit of things that I can like enhance. And you know, what is the sad or funny part about this whole situation is that people might not even notice it. You know what I'm saying it's like it's kind of like what separates like a really good restaurant from a bad restaurant right like because the good restaurant always focuses on details like their sheets are going to be clean their waiters are going to be extra polite you know they're going to give you an extra bread roll instead of just like half a piece they're always going to make sure you get what you want two restaurants can serve the same food but the experience is going to be very different and i'm all about the experience bro and i appreciate everyone man who really support me along this whole journey appreciate you guys man yo we all start start someplace, right? Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm trying to make like my streams more professional. And if you guys have any suggestions, like what you think can make me look more legit, uh, let me know. In fact, like a lot of things that I came up for my stream have been copied by people, right? There's this fucking guy, like I won't say his name, but he copied some of my like panels, like my art panels. He copied like the format and the style. And um, I come up with like different things that I thought of too. Like when I was editing my videos, I always like have to put like my logo logo over it so people will remember my channel's name and then I realized that I don't ever I don't always have to do that because all I have to do is add it right there 
Look up the screen. You see the top right corner, you see Old Scary TV. So at any point of time, if this clip gets taken and shared with like a lot of people and they can't pinpoint the source of like who the person, who I, who I am, that is a big help. That That is kind of like breadcrumbs for people to come back here. So I thought of that, right? Nobody talks about this shit, bro. I'm all into that OCD shit, bro. I'm always trying to give you guys the best experience of all time. My lighting is like lamps that I bought from the dollar store. You guys know how I am with bargain. Right, I don't buy the like legit shit. Let me show you guys like one of my lamps. You see this? This is lighting the side of my face. Right? See, if I put it like too close, all of a sudden like it, the contrast is like fucking crazy, right? But if I put it at like a right distance, it gives me that rim lighting that I need. Now, when it comes to lighting, I really took my time to study a lot of like lighting techniques that filmmakers use. Okay, so as I'm looking directly at the camera, what do you notice in terms of my face when it comes to light and shadow? Like look at this shadow right here, right? Look at how it casts like a shadow and then it clips here, like just right at the nose. And you know, like, it has this like dark shadow contrast over here. That is a film technique. If you go watch Citizen Kane or like movies like that, you notice they always light their protagonists that way, right? And it would give like an additional rim lighting. So I'm, I'm, I'm a film buff, so I watch a lot, a lot of film noir. I also like try to notice like, hey man, how do I make my shit look good like them movies? How do I make my stuff look like Oscar, Grammy, Emmy material? You know what I'm saying? Agar says Oats Curry with the 300 IQ play on Twitch. Yo, I'm trying to get ahead, guys. So I'm gonna try to find every like small little advantage I can take advantage of to make you guys experience better. Is it hot with all them lightings? It used to be hot Helix, but what I did was I crank up the AC. If I don't have air conditioning for this room, this room would be like really hot because there's lighting, this lighting. I have a computer that is streaming and recording. So it's outputting heat. I got a console. I got like two monitors. Yo, when I used to actually stream Witcher 3, my PC would get so fucking hot that it would actually sound like a jet engine. Because when I first started it, I really really want to keep come out like swinging. So I played like Witcher 3 on maximum settings. And it was like so high in setting that my computer also couldn't record the streams from back in the day. So that was kind of like one of the first mistakes I made, right? Being a Twitch streamer was I was producing content, but I wasn't recording it. So people don't get a chance to look back at my old videos and see how I, how I was like. In fact, like once I kind of wised up, I kind of like start recording my streams. That thing has been like so useful when it comes to like me creating high highlight clips or me like archiving the videos for you guys to watch later on YouTube. So sometimes I got to like sacrifice a little bit of definition in terms of quality just so that it's more accessible to you guys. Oh, it's a film protagonist. Hell yeah, Joe. You know what I'm talking about, man. If you're a streamer, right? You got to make yourself like a, a protagonist, right? Because this is your movie. 